when you feel love, you're feeling your own love. When you feel love towards somebody else, it's still your love, your emotion that you're feeling. It's not theirs. They can never give it to you. Hey, it's Anna. So the cliche phrase, you can't love somebody else until you love yourself. It's gone really mainstream, really cliche, like everybody says it and I don't feel like everyone really knows what it means. At least I didn't until I went on my journey of self-love and started to really unravel everything about myself and now I've had this like huge revelation of the fact that that is such a true thing but I didn't realise what it actually meant, like I couldn't grasp the real meaning behind it rather than the surface level and I've realised that when it comes to love, like, love is what we are and it's what we all feel, but when somebody else loves you or when you choose to express your love to somebody else, it's still your own love that you're feeling because your emotions are within you, like, they're inside your soul, your spirit, your vessel. It's all frequency. Love is a frequency. So when you feel love, you're feeling your own love. When you feel love towards somebody else, it's still your love, your emotion that you're feeling. It's not theirs. They can never give it to you, you know? When they direct their love towards you, it triggers your own love. It triggers your own feeling of love inside you. And then you direct it back at them, you know? But it's still all within yourself. And when they direct it at you, it's still their own love that they're feeling. So if you don't love yourself, if you haven't accepted yourself, you don't really know who you are, you carry a lot of self-doubt, a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty, like you haven't accepted your flaws, you haven't accepted who you are, then the level of love that you feel inside yourself is going to be completely diminished and completely like closed in and boxed in and caged by all of these thoughts of fear and thoughts of like unworthiness it's going to completely like diminish the love that you can feel like your capacity to actually feel love is so huge because it's what you are but when you have all of these like fear-based thoughts which is why I say it's so important to get rid of the societal programming that instills that fear in the first place but when you have all of those thoughts all of those beliefs that are based in fear then you can't feel your love to your highest potential so it really is true when you say that you need to love yourself first because when you accept all of these things about yourself you get rid of that fear you know you get rid of that blockage that stops you from feeling love stops you from feeling that powerful frequency that is who you really are it is your natural state of being that is the frequency that you naturally vibrate on you know but we're in a human experience where fear is literally instilled in us absolutely everywhere and that's why our frequency has dropped over the years like i'm talking like millions of years but the frequency has dropped and dropped and dropped and we've fallen deeper and deeper into the human experience and into forgetting who we really are forgetting that this vessel is just something temporary that's a part of the experience but that our soul and our spirit lives on beyond it you know we've forgotten the we've basically kind of lost our connection to source and what is source? Source is love because that is the frequency, that is the frequency that source is on and that is your natural frequency and that is why I say and lots of other people say that like God is within you, source is within you, the universe is within you, it's all a part of you and you are a part of it because it's all a part of the same frequency and it's all connected and when you leave this vessel which makes you feel like you're separate from everything else when you leave it you go back to the all you go back to being one with everything else and you realize and remember that you're not separate so love is what you are love is your natural frequency and the whole kind of purpose of this experience is to shed all of the bullshit that's been added to us all of the program beliefs and get back to that state of being, you know, get back to our natural state of being. So then you can express love to everybody and everything. 
that's why when people become enlightened and they realize how connected everything is and they vibrate from the frequency of love they start to love everything they start to appreciate everyone and everything that's why people go vegan because they start to love and appreciate animals as being equal to themselves and it's not in a superiority thing of like looking down on other people that don't feel that way it's just that they've elevated their frequency back to their natural state you know they've just managed to shift the fear that's all it really is they've just managed to shift the human fear and get back to love and realize that we're all connected and we're all one you know so yeah i feel like it took me a while to understand what this really meant but it is just once you understand who you are once you accept who you are like your love is infinite you know it's boundless there's no limits on the feeling and emotion and frequency of what love is so once you uncover who you are and you accept all of yourself and you love it unconditionally then you'll be able to express that to somebody else but it also has nothing to do with being in relationships with other people like it's not saying that you can't have connections with people that you can't have friendships that you can't love your family of course we love everybody no matter what our frequency is at you're always able to love somebody but it just means that you're not gonna be able to express it at your fullest capacity in a free sense you know you're going to have conditions on your love when you haven't accepted yourself you'll then try to enforce conditions on other people and then it will become a case of like sacrificing yourself for somebody else or them sacrificing who they are in order to please you and that's not love that's not unconditional love that's conditional love and i feel like a lot of relationships are toxic and like I think toxic is probably the best word to describe it but a lot of relationships are toxic because each person has not accepted themselves for who they are each person is trying to force their will onto somebody else they're trying to force their beliefs what they want out of a person that they're in a relationship with like they're literally putting conditions on each other instead of accepting each other for who they are and it's a lot harder to accept somebody else for who they are when you haven't accepted who you are you know it always starts with the self so when you start to accept who you are then you're not gonna settle for somebody else that doesn't bring you exactly what you need you know like these relationships are toxic because the people are not meant for each other because the people are not self-aware enough to either adjust what they need to and become their best selves and like be their highest selves but also they're not self-aware enough to realize that actually this person is never going to change this person is who they are right now and that doesn't match who i am and what i want if you're not aware of yourself then you're not going to be aware of what it is that you need and what it is that you want out of a connection you know so i think i need to make a whole video on like toxic relationships because believe me i have had my fair share but i'm gonna yeah i'm definitely gonna make videos on like i don't know i feel like relationships is a huge thing because that is kind of the main thing that we experience while we're here is connections with other people and they're the most important really because the experiences are shared with these connections with these people so yeah I'm gonna make videos on that but I think that is what I wanted to say in this video every video just gets like so channeled that I forget what I've even said so I don't know but yeah this is just to say that you need to know who you are and know what you bring to the table so then you can meet somebody that matches that rather than trying to change them that is for a whole other video you just need to accept who you are that's literally it once you accept that then you can fill your love to the fullest capacity and then you will connect with somebody else that's also doing the same thing so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye I need a man.